If you want to scrape data from internet and do not have any programming skill set, this is the ultimate workflow that will help you do that. So if you're ready, let's get started. As a user, you'll be able to submit your web scraping prompts containing the URL of the website to scrape and also some descriptions to help the model identify which part of the website to collect. And once that is done, the ChatGPT will trigger the relevant plugins. And those plugins are mainly the scraper and the code interpreter. The scraper is built for scraping data from internet. And once the data is collected, those information will be sent to a second plugin called code interpreter with code interpreter you'll be able to store those data into excel or csv file once the data is available then they'll be sent back to the user to be downloaded now that you have a better understanding of what to expect in this video we can get into the platform this is the website that we are interested in scrapping it is the mit news and the section we are mainly interested in is the artificial intelligence the goal is to be able to scrape for each article the title of the article which is here the description the publication date and also the link that points to a specific um, article the first thing that we need to 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 do is to um, enable the scraper plugin, which is the first plugin that allows the scraping of a given website. And to do that, just come on GPT-4 plugin section. And the plugin section will be able to um, go to plugin store and search for scraper. And now here you can see the scrapper. If this is your first time coming to scrapper, you will see the install button. In my scenario, the plugin is already installed. That's the reason why you're saying uninstall. I'm not going to uninstall. Let's get back to this section. And you will see here that the plugin is activated. The next step now is to provide the prompt to perform that collection. The prompt sent to the model contains two main sections. The first one is a URL of the website we want to scrap. And the second one is the description of all the information that we want the model to execute. Let's have a look at this specific example. Here I'm providing the model with the link of the websites to scrap, which is the link to this website here and the instructions I want the model to perform are um, I'm telling the model to um, the information to be collected for each news article contain the following attribute which are the title the publication date the description and the link to that article and also I'm telling to show the final results in the table where the columns correspond to the above attributes and these are the attributes here and let's run this to see what is going to um to run from here it's going to trigger the scraper plugin and this scraper plugin is going to collect all the relevant information um, from the provided website and also the descriptions we have sent the model to. And uh, here um, is the table being generated as requested because we told the model to generate a table containing those information. And here the first title is using AI to protect against an image manipulation. The publication date is July 31st, 2023. Description is here photo guards developed by MIT C Skills and so on. This nice table has been generated and contains the results of the scraping. So let's have a look at um, the first article, which title is using AI to protect against image manipulation. Publication date is July 31st, year 2023. The description is here. And here is a link to the full story. Um, yeah, the same link is um, provided here. And using AI to protest against image manipulation. This is exact um link to the article the first article with all the information
and the same goes for the remaining articles. The next step is to save this table into um, an Excel file. The first step is to copy this result and create a new chart. From this new chart, we will be using the Code Interpreter plugin to store this result into a, uh, an Excel file. And this is done from this GPT-4 tab select Code Interpreter. With the code interpreter available, now we can paste all the result from the previous analysis. And let's remove this part, which is not, I mean, this is part of the result we had from the previous experiment, Scrap Air News. And let's just remove it. And the prompt that I'm going to tell the model to do is please store this result into an Excel file and this is going to run the execution of the process and running all the steps sure I would create Excel file with the provided data let's start by organizing data into a tabular format the model is smart enough to know that we need to convert the data into a tabular before storing into an Excel sheets and this might take a couple of seconds before the final file is ready okay the model says the data has been successfully organized in the tabular format now I will save it as an Excel file and here is the final Excel file generated by the model so let's download it a articles Excel let's open it and after opening the file, this is the contents that we got. We have the title of the articles, the publication date, the description, and also the link to each of these articles. So let's try to open this one, this first link. Let's copy and paste this one here. Yeah, this is exactly all the contents of this article, this first article we had in in the table. And now the whole the only difference is that we have the results in an Excel file. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and also please feel free to let me know in the comment section if there are some additional topic you want me to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. See you next time. Bye-bye.